Hi, this is Jason Palmozano, founder and CEO of Trinity Fitness. You're up here on my front porch, which has been a work in progress for about a year now. It's been a long time dream to have a front porch, and I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Go ahead and take a quick peek at it. Uh, one thing that uh, I've learned as some of the work I've done myself and am doing myself to finish it up, some of the work, the bigger things I've had contractors do, either way, what I've learned is this, is that building materials really matter. It matters in how things look, how the project comes together, the, the longevity uh, of the porch itself. So building materials really matter. And I think Jesus gives us some really good encouragement and some practical advice as it relates to building materials for your life. Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 24, Jesus says this, uh, Anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. The rains came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish builder. The rains came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Well, Jesus is talking about uh, obviously building a house that is your life and my life and building materials as it relates to your life really matters. And so what does it mean to build your life on the sand? What does it mean for me to build my life on the sand? What's most important to you in your life? Oftentimes, those are the things, whatever is most important, that's what we're focusing on, that's where our time and energy goes to, that's where our financial resources goes to. Unfortunately, uh, many folks uh, miss the mark and build on the sand and they find out through a lot of headache and heartache down the road, oh man, I was building with the wrong materials. Let me give you some examples. Wendy and I uh, just finished, uh, just had our, or celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Now, I know others have been married for over 50 years and I'm like, I wanna be there too one day. But at 25 married years, we've come through some phases and stages of life in marriage. One of those being raising our four kids. And so there was a time when our, obviously our kids were young and uh, if we weren't careful, the kids uh, we could have allowed them to take center stage of our life and every kid activity program uh, scheduling everything uh, if we weren't careful our kids could have consumed our schedules and our lives and our marriages would have been built on on our kids but here's my point the kids are grown and they're moving out now and if that was our foundation it would be gone finances a lot of folks would build their life because finances on those finances that that's most but finances are so fleeting a certain job position as the target for that person's life man if I could just have that job if I could just have that paycheck or that house or if I can marry that person or be with them uh, and they center their life on that type of building material the problem is none of those things are lasting they're fleeting. I know that might sound, well, that's a terrible thing to say about relationships or uh, positions and things, but that's the fact of life. That's, guys, that's why divorce rates are over 50% uh, and, and there's so much struggle and heartache in life. But Jesus is saying, pay attention to the building materials. And if we were to build our lives and center our lives on the solid rock foundation of Jesus Christ and his word, we already know that it is never changing always faithful and there is truth in the Word of God to build our lives on and so uh, we need to really give attention to what it is that is most important in our life what is it that we're centering our lives on and building the foundation on you will never be disappointed and you'll you cannot go wrong by building your life on the solid rock foundation of Jesus Christ guys I hope that helps because building materials really do make a difference.